Hi, my name is Lee Williamson. Subscribe to Reggae Boys Commentary. Hi, my name is Joby McEnough. Subscribe to Reggae Boys Commentary. Reggae Boys Commentary. Like, share and subscribe, please. I'm Javon Watson and you're watching Reggae Boys Commentary. Yes, Reggae Boys Commentary. Like and subscribe, yeah? Oh. Reggae Boys Commentary. Like, share and subscribe. Yeah. Reggae Boys Commentary. <laughs> subscribe, like and share. Is that the right order? Hi, I'm Chris Binney and I'm Jamaica's number one squash player and nine time Caribbean champion. And you're watching Reggae Boys Commentary. Don't forget to hit the like, subscribe, and share button below. Skin clean and nice and ting and ting. I'm Tiffany Cannon. <laughs> I'm Tiffany Cannon, Reggae Girl Striker, and you are watching the Reggae Boys Commentary. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Hello everyone, I'm Simon Preston and welcome back to Reggae Boys Commentary. Thank you so much for tuning in to another video on this channel. Really, really appreciate it. So what we're going to do in this video is talk about an individual that already has a Jamaican passport. This is somebody that has had a Jamaican passport, to be quite frank with you, for a number of years. This is from the era of the Winfred Schaefer campaign. That's how long ago this particular player has had a passport for. In fact, we have to go back to 2014. Yeah, 2014. So this was the situation. He has had a Jamaican passport since then. And what is his name? His name is none other than Louis Graben. Louis Graben was first contacted by Winfred Schaefer 2014. At that time, for the friendly against Serbia, which took place in New York, the passport wasn't ready at that time. The passport was ready for subsequent matches in 2015. However, he wasn't named in the squad for those matches due to injury. But he is somebody that has had a Jamaican passport since the year 2015. And Jamaica, as you know, gives 10-year passports, which means that he wouldn't have to renew the current passport until 2025. So that's another two and a half years on the current passport that he has. As we know, 2016, Winfred Schaefer was replaced by Coach Whitmore, and Coach Whitmore's last match for Jamaica was 2021, right? And then in came Paul Hall. So Louis Graban is a player that is scoring goals and has scored goals everywhere he's went. Everywhere he's gone, he's scored goals. The only time where he's been at a club and has not scored goals is early in his career, before he was the age of 20. This is when he went to Oldham Athletic and Motherwell. Apart from that, he scored goals everywhere else. Crystal Palace, Millwall, Brentford, Rotherham, Bournemouth, Nord City, Reading, Sunderland, Aston Villa, and most recently, Nottingham Forest, where he spent four years. He hasn't been at a, any other club for, for more than four years in his career. So it's been great. And you might ask, well, Simon, where has he played? Well, at Crystal Palace, he played in the championship, Oldham Athletic, League One, Motherwell, the Scottish Premiership, Millwall, League One, and also the championship, Brentford, League One at the time, Rotherham, League Two at the time, Bournemouth, League One, and also the championship, North City, the championship, and also the Premier League. Yep, he scored in the Premier League, and I can tell you who he scored against. He scored against Arsenal. Yep, his only Premier League goal came against Arsenal in a 1-1 draw. Yeah, I remember that game vividly too. Arsenal fans were extremely livid, extremely livid about that. And, and fans were disagreeing and saying, you're happy with a point in this part of the world? He scored goals at Reading, Sunderland, Aston Villa, and most recently with Nottingham Forest. It has to be pointed out, though, that in Nottingham Forest's push for promotion, he scored 12 goals in 32 games. And 
13 goals in 34 games in all competitions. So he played a significant role in that season. The point I would like to make in relation to this individual being Lewis Graban is that at Nottingham Forest, he was offered a new contract. However, he turned down a new contract. Turned down the opportunity to play in the Premier League. I might say, hmm, why is that the case? Well, I'll show you. I'll show you exactly the reason for that. And this is the situation. Louis Graban signs for Saudi Arabian club Al Ali. So he signed a one year deal with Saudi Arabian outfit Al Ali. Personal terms have been agreed. And he's looking forward to the next chapter of career. And the truth is that, yes, he did have offers to stay in England. A lot of them being within the championship and, and League One. But he wanted a change. He wanted a different chapter. And you see what I'm saying? Look what Al Ali did. They put a Jamaican flag right beside it, beside him. You see what I'm saying? They put a Jamaican flag right beside him. They have on, on his profile, place of birth, Croydon, London, England, citizenship, Jamaican. That tells you everything you need to know right there. And so the Jamaican flag, you all see the Jamaican flag there, right? I hope you all see the Jamaican flag. Good. He's 34 and it's a one year deal. And he has the option to extend it a further, further year. So that's where things are at the moment. The possibility exists for him to extend it a further year. So that's the situation with Lewis Graban. And the reason why I pose this as well is that we can ask this question as well with Lewis Graban. Will this move put him out of contention to play for Jamaica? Because not many players, Jamaican players, that is, apply their trade in the Asian Football Confederation get an opportunity to get a call up for Jamaica. Earl Stevens knocked on the door so many times, but his only call up came against Saudi, rather, South Korea. Romario Gordon, Siobhan Walsh, Kevin Bryan, not a lot of them got call ups. You know what I'm saying? So playing in, in Asia, not many get the opportunities. I remember Demar Stewart, the younger brother of Damien Stupi Stewart. He was at Chindu Blades, which is the affiliate club of, of Sheffield United at the time. Yeah, he got called up, but this was Caribbean Cup. But now with Louis Graban in Saudi Arabia, he's playing in the Saudi First Division League. And this is, in a sense, the second tier of Saudi Arabian football. So that's where Al Ali is. The season has started, but they haven't played their first game just yet. Not yet. But there will be an action quite shortly. There will be an action quite shortly. And in order to gain promotion, they need to finish within the top four. If they finish within the top four, then they'll get promoted. This is a team that got relegated last season from the Pro League, which is the top tier. They got relegated quite recently but they'll now be looking to push on up. The bulk of the, the, the team that he's going to be playing with is Saudi Arabian players, a Brazilian, an Argentine, a Tunisian, a Croatian, and a Cameroonian player. So a mixture of players at the club. But I'll leave the question with you, Reggae Boys fans. Does this end Louis Graban's chances of ever representing Jamaica? Being, bearing in mind that he will be in a country and a division that is not really accessible. But you can let me know your thoughts. My personal view is that Louis Graban can still score goals. And that is somebody that you need. You need somebody who can score goals. So for me, Louis Graban deserves a call-up. He scores goals. What, is a, what else is a striker supposed to do? A striker scores goals. And he, score goals, he has scores go, scored goals everywhere he has been. So 
whether it's the friendly match against Argentina in September or the next FIFA window after that, I say you give him three matches, and after those three matches, we evaluate if he's to be part of the pool for the Gold Cup. Now, lots of people might say, on 34, he's not going to go to the 2026 World Cup. It doesn't matter if he's going to 2026 World Cup or not. Let him be that bridge. Let him be that bridge that, that younger center forwards can, can walk and learn from. He might not take us to the promised land, but he can at least lead the way. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe to Reggae Boys Comments.